You are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Forgates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich, at the Jacklich Law Group. damp and chilly College Park. Boy, was it raining earlier, but it dried up enough. Maryland was super effective during that rainstorm. The Terps take it big, had a big early lead, and started whitening quick, and that's a good thing to see if you're a Maryland fan. I'm Wayne Viner. Bruce and Mason are away from the microphone this evening. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. Of course, we're going to go inside in a second and hear what Tillman and the players had to say. One of the things that was almost instantly evident is with a shift of who was on attack versus who was midi with Urxa and Molliver as middies teamed up with Jack Corris, with, with Whittier, with Owen Murphy who got a goal late. It was a much harder offense to stop, especially once they established position. Um, sometimes you wonder, sometimes good things happen because you're challenged like when Urxa got hurt, when the offense wasn't really working as well, to change what you're doing. I didn't expect this sea change this late in the year, but my goodness, it worked. Once again, when Maryland was patient enough and got in the offense, they were extremely hard to cover. Let's see if that holds on next week. Hofstra in Long Island. We got Duke. Maryland Duke is a love Maryland Duke rivalries in anything. This is a go to the Final Four. We'll be back after you see a couple of highlights with the second half of the post-game show in a moment. Since 1991, Viner Forgates has completed thousands of projects across the D.C. metro area and around the globe. Use Viner Forgates for your next IT project. Hey, Rick Jackson, who's your favorite number one term? Stefan Diggs, DJ Moore. Really? Now, come on, you know, Rakeem Jarrett's always been my favorite number one. Hey, Rock Jarrett, who's your number one? The Rick Jacklish Law Group. Why? Awesome trial results, unbelievable customer service, plus you've taken great care of my mom over the last 20 years. Just some of the reasons that the Jacklish Law Group has been voted the number one personal injury trial firm in the entire USA. If you're hurt, call the Big Dogs. 855-BIG-DOG-1. It's been pointed out all week to me by lacrosse experts like Mason and Bruce, and you know, I, I know it myself. John Tillman knows how to coach in these games. This Maryland team knows how to win in the NCAA tournament. And you start to look forward to games like the Duke game, like maybe getting to Philadelphia. Of course, you had to get through Princeton first. They offered their own challenges. But when you start like Maryland did, which is quick movement. It got them goals early. Yeah, it caused some turnovers, but the suddenness of the Maryland attacking and took me by surprise. I asked some of the players that. You'll see that in the player interviews uh, that'll be on soon. Uh, so the offense we've already talked about. The defense, my goodness. Ajax Zapatello showed why he was a top three draft pick. That guy plays defense like nobody else I've seen for a while. He deserves the number one jersey. He probably deserves to be up for the Tuarton Award. McNanny was on. 
the Clemson defense was much more effective than they have been. Sometimes you look to the D Nettys, but sometimes you just have to look at that core of the interior defense, which is Colin Burleis, number 40, Jackson Canfield, 50, Will Schaller subbed in there, and rotating the four big bodies into those three spots keeps them fresh. Princeton likes to attack off the midfield a lot. When you can get a big interior defenseman to switch onto one of those middies as they come towards the goal, the strength, the dexterity they have, you saw Maryland defenders picking off passes that you, you didn't see coming watching the game, but the defense knew where to go. If you go ask them, they're gonna credit their coaches and the scout team for making them ready to play in a game like today. And then when, they, when a Princeton Tiger team does shoot, Logan's going to say the defense funneled the, the shooter to where Logan was looking for the shot and makes him more prepared, increases his save percentage. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Good. Danny, uh, gosh, it says up there that you had 11 saves, but you seemed impenetrable even though they got a few goals on you. How did it look to you? I feel like I could always play better, you know. I don't really look at the end goal besides us winning. That's the main thing that we look at. Uh, but honestly, I think I could have played better. Looking forward to do that next week. If Maryland can play like this, of course you can beat anybody. I think anybody who saw the game would say yes, if this Maryland team shows up, they're a national championship threat. This is Wayne Viner, Connie Beach behind the camera. Once again, Bruce and Mason away for today. Hopefully we'll see them all in Hempstead, New York next week as Maryland takes on Duke. On to the press conference to see what Coach Gilman has to say. Good evening from College Park.